welcome Unicums and soon to be Unicums. I'm OK Vader, and in this video, I have a game in my bat chat where I end up doing really high damage, but because my team doesn't listen to me, it ends up costing us the game. And what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is how to maximize the amount of damage that you can get when you do get stuck in situations where your team does the wrong thing and they don't listen to you. Now what I'm doing is I'm spotting their heavies that are crossing into town and from this position I'm able to get shots into them without being spotted so I'm just getting splash damage for my team and when I do get spotted I'm moving back a bit behind this building but I know that most of them are in town already so I'm not too worried about guys directly in front of me and from this position you're going to see me just being aware of what's going on around me. Now I am going to be getting shots into these guys in town and what you will notice is that I'm not necessarily prioritizing a target right now. I'm just trying to get as much damage as I can right now. I know that my team is doing the wrong thing. I know that they are outnumbered in town and that they will, will probably die soon. So I'm just looking for shots anywhere across the map. It doesn't matter if they're on the far right side, it doesn't matter if they're on the left side and I can support my team on the left side. I'm just focused on getting damage right now. So I'm looking at this gap here because I know they're going to be pushing my guys into town soon because they just died. And for this 183 I do actually end up taking a bit of a blind shot here because I think that he would push out but he doesn't end up doing that. However, this IS-7 puts himself in a position directly in front of my gun, and I'm able to get a shot into him. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that I'm aware of what they have on the right side, because I know that I knew that they had a 183 on the right side, and I see that girl poke up, so I'm just going to get some shots at, into him. And I'm conserving my hit points right now. I'm not playing aggressive I'm just playing very passive right now because I know that at the end game I just want to get I just want to get into a spot where I can just pump out as much damage as I can and when you have a lot of hit points at the end you can take hits which means that you can get more damage I like to think of hit points as money you trade hit points, your hit points, for hit points. And if you have a lot of hit points at the end, you can buy damage essentially when you trade in your hit points. So what I'm doing now is I've relocated to the back here and I'm just focusing down their DPM tanks right now because the high caliber tanks at the end aren't really going to be um, that much of a threat. So. I'm just focusing down the tanks that can actually focus me down and out DPM me. So I'm just going for this E50M now. I'm going to load some heat right here. And you're not going to see me going for his upper plate. I'm just going for his turret because that's the weakest part on his tank right now. So I'm just, I'm just going around circles right now. I'm making sure that I'm making my tank the hardest target for the enemy right now so going for a C100 and look at the damages damage I've already gotten I believe that I was around 3k when I did get into this position and I'm already at 5924 damage now I am gonna get taken out here but hopefully this video showed you guys a bit of what to do when you do get stuck in a position where your teammates aren't listening and they're just dying left and right and you don't know how to maximize the amount of damage that you're going to be able to get. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a short one. I am kind of running low on time these days because I do have a lot of school and I've gotten a huge increase in patrons so I'm spending a lot of my time on those guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. It really just shows that you're supporting what I'm doing. And if you really want to support what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.